recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentlelady from New York for yielding me this time. And I've often wondered what the capacity for remembering uh, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have. And apparently, it extends no further than seven years and five days. Seven years and five days ago, my city, the city of New York, was attacked on 9 11, if you've forgotten that. And for the purposes of your point of order, in opposition to this bill coming to the floor, is the lack of someone taking responsibility for the $1.2 billion that you call an earmark. It's Crowley, C R O W L E Y, slash, we go take that away. Mr. Speaker, it's the U.S. Congress that did this seven years ago after our country was attacked on 9-11. Seven years and five days ago. I, five days ago, stood out on the steps of the Capitol and sang God Bless America with both my colleagues from the Republican side of the aisle and this side of the aisle. What we're doing today is simply fulfilling a promise, a promise. This is not an earmark. This has already law. We're adapting it, we're changing it so that New York can use the money. But I need to remind my colleagues in this side of the aisle, there is still, there is still a 16 and a half or 17 acre hole in lower Manhattan. And we need to do all we can to help rebuild that, rebuild the economy of New York. I dare say my colleagues from New York on the other side of the aisle, they're opposed to this point of order. They'll, they'll oppose your position on this point of order because they know this is not an earmark. They know that this is going to help rebuild New York. And it's a promise that was made by the administration. The president does not call it an earmark. It is in the president's budget. Uh, I, I'd also object to what my friend and colleague from Virginia said about the chief of staff for the Joint Tax Committee. Ed Clybard, in May, on May 15th of this year, stated that on the issue of limited tax benefits, the answer is that this is a matter wholly within the prerogative of the chairman. He alone decides this issue. Mr. Rangel does not call an earmark. I don't call an earmark. I dare say many of your colleagues on the other side of the aisle do not call an earmark. This is not an earmark. This is to help New York City rebuild after 9-11. And with all that's going on, as we read in the papers today about the markets, uh, New York City is under tremendous, tremendous duress. Don't add to that. Don't add to that today by, by, by bringing up this type of tactic to limit the ability of New York City to rebuild itself. And with that, I reserve the balance of my time.